Go. My name is Crystal Snow. And my name is Elsa Hale Snow. And, and we are your hosts for the new hit show, Taking YouTube by Storm. Science knows the way! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs, cats, horses, transsexuals, homosexuals, and asexuals, welcome to Science Knows the Way. What could we talk about in this episode? Let's find out! Hey Elsa, do you know the topic for today? I don't, Crystal. Let's check! And the topic is... Freezing! Shocking! No, wait! Wrong pun! I was frozen in place to hear that. Same thing here! I even got the chills when I opened the envelope. So Elsa, what do you know about freezing? Well, all that I know is that freezing turns water from a liquid into a solid and that it's really cold. I think it has something to do with the freezing time. Luckily though, we have someone who can help us. Who is it? His name is Blue. I just talked to him, but I can find him. Hey everybody! My name is Blue and these are my brothers. My second in command, two, and the muscles, big. Together we are blue and two big. Dabu di, dabu dai, dabu di, dabu dai. All jokes aside, I am here to show you about the magic of freezing. There is a question at the bottom of these people. What is the consequence of freezing in humans? Hmm, a solid question, but I can answer that. Now let's talk about freezing. Freezing is a point when a liquid reaches its freezing point which is the point where it solidifies. It happens when the liquid cools down to a point where its particles remain in fixed positions. Now, if I'm cold and two is cold, then we usually hug. If we were water particles, then we would become a solid. There are many factors that affect freezing, like its impurities or the atmospheric pressure. Can we explain, explain to you, sir? Sure. The atmospheric pressure also changes the temperature at which liquid turns into a solid. The higher the temperature, the higher the pressure it is, that it is that makes liquid into a solid, it also works vice versa. The lower the pressure, the lower the temperature it takes to turn liquid into a solid. The purity of the ice can also impact this phasing point. Let's say for example we were to add salt into water. The water itself will have a lower phasing point, which is why people put salt on roads to stop them from turning to ice. The type of molecules can also affect the freezing point. If the forces between them are relatively strong, then you can see that the freezing point will be relatively strong as well, and vice versa. Now, let's have our experiment. Come with me. Hi guys, I'm Tu. And I'm Big. And today, we will show you a few cool experiments that you can do at home about freezing. Well, the simplest one is grab a bottle of water, or a cup actually, put it in the freezer, and wait for a few hours. And voila! But the problem is, as the brothers of water itself, we can't just freeze water normally. We have to use a little magic. Now, for our experiment, we will lift an ice cube with a string. Okay, guys. This is how to how to do the experiment. One, get a string that's soaked with water, preferably yarn, possibly. Two, put it on ice in water and put some salt. Now wait for a few seconds, just to be sure, and voila! Now, salt lowers the freezing point of water to below 0 degrees Celsius. So, basically, what happened was, the salt melted a thin layer of the ice, but as well, it affected the water inside the string, which made the ice reform in the water inside the string, causing us to be able to lift the ice cube with the string. It's preferable if you do this with a big block of ice, by the way. Bravo! That was an amazing array of ice magic. Now, let's have the big, not you big, the big question. What are the consequences of freezing in humans? Well, it can affect the freshness of meat, the bacterial growth of water, and it can lower our body temperatures. Well, that was an amazing episode where we learned more about the wonders of freezing. You're right, Crystal. And if you want to see more Science Knows the Ways, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time on Science Knows the Way! Awkward. <laughs>